Tesla recently announced that its Cybertruck will be available for purchase in 2023. Several automakers are developing their own battery-powered pickup trucks. However, Tesla's Cybertruck stands out due to its futuristic appearance. But what about the factory it's getting produced in? To your surprise, Elon Musk announced a new Gigafactory to produce Cybertruck and other models. Surely, designing and producing such a piece needs exclamatory production machines and ideas. So, hello guys and welcome back to Entirely Elon Musk. In this video, we take you inside the massive $7 billion plant where Tesla will build the Cybertruck. Make sure to watch it till the end and here we begin. Tesla opened its Gigafactory in Austin, Texas, a critical step in the company's delayed plans to begin production of its electric Cybertruck. Tesla held a Cyber Rodeo event to commemorate the opening, inviting 15,000 people to listen to live music, eat food, and pay homage to Elon Musk and his company. Musk told the audience, we're entering a new phase of Tesla's future. Musk, dressed in a black cowboy hat and aviator sunglasses, expressed his delight at finally starting to work on Cybertruck production. I can't wait to see this thing in action. It's going to be epic. It is the company's fourth factory in the United States, following the vehicle factory in Fremont, California, the battery factory in Sparks, Nevada, and the solar factory in Buffalo, New York. Tesla also has a vehicle manufacturing facility outside of Shanghai, China, and it recently opened its first European factory near Berlin, Germany. Tesla paid an estimated $5 million for the land outside of Austin, plus an additional $1.1 billion to build the plant. The achievement came less than two years after Musk announced that Austin would be the site of the company's next Gigafactory and less than a year after Tesla officially relocated its headquarters from California to Texas. In addition to the new Gigafactory, Musk runs a SpaceX facility in Brownsville, Texas. He's said to be living at a friend's multi-million dollar home on a lake in Austin. The addition of the new Gigafactory is expected to increase Tesla's capacity in the United States, which has long been constrained by space constraints. In 2018, the company famously erected a tent outside its Fremont, California factory to help meet Model 3 production goals. Musk stated that the company's California factory was bursting at the seams. Tesla expects to produce 1.5 million vehicles in 2022, up from slightly less than 1 million last year, a 50% increase. Tesla's long-delayed Cybertruck is expected to be manufactured at the Texas facility in 2023. The online reservation page was changed and removed from the site last year, indicating that the Cybertruck would be delayed. Musk stated that a few trucks would be delivered to customers by the end of 2021, but no deliveries were made. Since its initial reveal in 2019, the Cybertruck has undergone some changes, including the addition of a comically oversized single windshield wiper, traditional folding mirrors, and invisible door handles. The Texas Gigafactory, situated on approximately 2,100 acres of land east of Austin Bergstrom International Airport, with approximately two miles of exposure to the Colorado River in Texas. The company has stated that it'll hire up to 5,000 people with entry-level positions starting at $35,000. Tesla currently employs approximately 10,000 people at its sole U.S. car plant in Fremont. In exchange, Texas local government has lavished the company with tax breaks and incentives worth millions of dollars. The local school district approved $50 million in tax breaks for Tesla in 2020, while Travis County commissioners approved a deal worth at least $14.7 million. However, the welcome has not been without controversy. Local conservationists attempted to halt Tesla's cyber rodeo celebration last week, citing traffic congestion, construction dust, and water pollution. Environmentalists have also criticized the company's Berlin factory project. More broadly, Tesla has been chastised for its labor practices and workplace safety concerns, particularly at its Fremont factory. The company was sued by California's Civil Rights Commission for opening a racially segregated workplace. Tesla began looking for a new factory location in the United States in early 2020. Scouting sites for the Cybertruck Gigafactory will be in the middle of the United States. Musk tweeted on March 10th, Nashville, Tennessee was reportedly an early contender before Austin and Tulsa were named finalists. Tulsa officials and residents made a lot of flashy moves such as painting a 70-foot tall oil driller statue to look like Musk. The new facility opens as the company continues to struggle with factory shutdowns in Shanghai as the city implements strict lockdown measures in response to an increase in COVID-19 cases. Despite this, the company reports strong sales in the first quarter of 2022, with 310,048 vehicles sold. Let's now look at the Cybertruck. In 2019, Musk unveiled a Cybertruck. It appears to be something from the film Blade Runner. 
the truck continues to draw attention to Tesla's other products three years later. The Cybertruck certainly lives up to its name with its geometric features and allegedly bulletproof windows. Some claims assert that over one million orders have been placed, although Tesla has yet to produce a single production model. The Cybertruck is also enormous. Unfortunately, you must see the Cybertruck in person to fully appreciate its size. On the other hand, Musk has hinted at a smaller version for sale in Europe. The stainless steel alloy body is 6.5 feet long and has 100 cubic feet of lockable storage in the bed. According to Tesla, it'll have a payload capacity of up to 3,500 pounds and a towing capacity of more than 14,000 pounds. In addition, the top-of-the-line tri-motor AWD model will sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 2.9 seconds and cover the quarter mile in 10.8 seconds. With up to 16 inches of ground clearance, adjustable air suspension, an approach angle of 35 degrees, and a departure angle of 20 degrees, Tesla is positioning the Cybertruck as an off-road powerhouse. It has 110 volt and 240 volt power outlets, allowing you to plug it in all your devices. In addition, Musk stated in a tweet on March 20, 2021, that Cybertruck owners will be able to plug in a tiny house or a towable camper to power it. This is because the truck has two-way charging capabilities. You can use it to operate power tools, for example. According to Musk, the angular shape is due to the Cybertruck's use of ultra-hard 30 times steel. In addition, standard hot rolled steel rolled at temperatures above 1700 degrees Fahrenheit is further strengthened in cold reduction mills. Thanks to the new 4680 battery, the highest trim can travel at least 500 miles on a single charge. Since its initial unveiling, Tesla has improved or even introduced new parts. For example, similar to the Rivian R1T, a variant with four electric motors, most likely one for each wheel, is now available. This will significantly increase total output. In addition, Tesla has created a new carbon-sleeved electric motor that's more powerful, efficient, and compact. It already powers the Model S, making it the fastest production vehicle in the world. In addition to the Cybertruck's electric motor has most likely been upgraded to the new carbon-sleeved version. Other modifications may appear insignificant, but impact the truck's daily operation. The prototype presented, for example, lacks a windscreen wiper. But what is a car without a windshield wiper? According to reports, Tesla's production model will employ a new wiper technology. Tesla's patents include bizarre concepts, including a folding, single-blade wiper and a laser-based water removal system. The initial wiper Tesla introduced was massive due to the high surface area of the glass. However, it was also a far cry from the bizarre ideas that had been floated. It dangled awkwardly on the driver's side of the screen. Musk later stated that the vehicle's revised wiper system confused him the most. He also mentioned that a deployable wiper system stowed in the trunk would be an excellent option, but such a system would be quite complicated. Given that the Cybertruck is a utility vehicle, overly sophisticated systems may be detrimental. On the other hand, recent images of the Cybertruck indicate that Tesla is developing something extremely useful for the truck. The massive wiper is composed of two smaller, standard-sized blades. This solution received positive feedback from the online electric vehicle community. After all, the design makes it simple to replace the wipers on the Cybertruck as needed. Moreover, its placement on one side of the vehicle implies that owners will not have to jump on the tire and lean forward to use the pickup's wiper. Musk also reluctantly added side mirrors. The technology is irritated by side mirrors because they detract from the truck's sleek appearance. So instead, he would use a pair of cameras, adding to the truck's already extensive camera arsenal. Even though side mirrors are required by law, Tesla has included them. Musk, on the other hand, wins because the mirrors are simply removed. As a result, the Cybertruck now has a useful feature that most drivers will use daily. The Cybertruck demonstrated its rear-wheel steering capabilities while driving through Giga, Texas. The back wheels will also turn if you turn the steering wheel or yoke. This feature, according to Musk, would allow the Cybertruck to make tight bends and move with great agility. So, let's know your views about the Cybertruck factory and its production in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more.